And she was like, and she was like, nah. Hello, and welcome to episode 24 of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. And really, if you just have any questions about just kind of life stuff in general, I love answering those questions. So if this looks a little different and sounds a little different, it's because it is. I'm actually trying out something new. I'm trying more of a vlogging approach as opposed to just sitting in front of the computer. Um, this actually fits really well with the question for today, which is how do I become more creative? And what I'm doing is because next week I'm going to be out on a road trip out to Arizona and Colorado and the Grand Canyon and Tully Ride and I want to do some vlogging from out there and take some cool pictures and stuff so I thought well I should probably practice here before I go out there and do it so I'm not figure stuff out on the fly so here we are again today's question is how do I become more creative this is not just a hey I want to paint pictures hey I want to write songs hey, I want to write poems or stories or whatever. This is creativity in general, because I think creativity is probably the most important thing you can have in really in life, but in business, um, beside grit and perseverance, and then self-awareness. And we're gonna address those in, in episodes later, probably the ones from Colorado and Arizona, but but today's episode is focusing on creativity and if you can be creative i mean that's kind of the basis of getting yourself out of situations you know getting yourself into the best situation possible combining things that you know with things that you're learning and putting them together in a brand new way and creating something completely different so I think this will, this will apply to everything. I'm gonna describe it more in a writing and songwriting sort of scenario, but it will really work for anything. The thing you have to do in order to become more creative is you need to attack from all angles. How do I do it in writing? I just do it. You know, I just sit down and I just write. And I try to find different topics and different ways to develop my craft as a whole. So I wrote a book. I don't know how the hell to write a book, but I wrote a book. Maybe good, maybe bad. I don't know. I started writing sports blogs where just taking my opinion on sports and putting it out there. Then I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more. So I started, ask, started asking people to ask me questions. Some of the stuff I would be comfortable with, some of the stuff I would be uncomfortable with. Some of the things I would know off the top of my head and I could just take them on. Other things I wouldn't know anything about and would uh, have to research before I could answer it, but it's something that I felt was important and wanted to be able to give the answer. But the idea is just to put, just surround whatever the problem is or whatever your, your issue is. And this goes with whether it's a song or a poem or a business idea or a business strategy or getting yourself out of the business strategy is just look at all the angles. So I know for me for writing, the more things I write about, the more types of writing that I do, the more pressure I put on myself, the better I will be able to write in the long run. And the more easily it'll come to me, the quicker I'll be able to turn something around. And that's kind of all, that's kind of the reason for, for doing that. Because you want to find all the strategies that you can put together and combine them all in one. So then if I can do it, if I can hit this, if I can hit whatever from all these different angles, then when something comes up, I have strategies from all these different angles to help out. One huge thing that I did, like when I first kind of figured out this strategy was with songwriting. So I've been playing guitar for freaking forever, 23 years, 24 years, 25 years, something like that. And, and what I would do, wait to be inspired. I sit down, you know, pick up the guitar, play a couple things, and then if nothing came to me, nothing came to me, and if it did, it did, cool, you know, I can, I can do that. What I started doing was forcing myself to write. I would sit down and four or five hours a day, every single day, I would, I would make myself write because I wanted to become a better writer. I wasn't 
putting out songs fast enough. I wasn't creating fast enough. And, and I figured the best way to do that is to just keep, keep writing. So it was actually pretty easy for the first month or so because I had stuff built up. I had verses and choruses and riffs and all kinds of stuff just kind of all, all built up. But when I really got to the effective part was when I was out of ideas. I had nothing. And I would take notes. I think it's really important to take notes. Have a, I had a little recorder. I would write down ideas and stuff. I would just have a chorus. I would have a chord progression. I would have kind of a melody. I would have, you know, these different things. And it, it wasn't anything. So for a while, you just sit there and it's, and it's just, it's just, it's stress because you're not, you don't have anything. And it's so out of your comfort zone. But that's the point. Because when you get out of your comfort zone, that's when you create like new neural pathways. That's when you come up with different strategies and different angles. So I would, I ended up having to write songs where I had a chord progression, but I had no lyrics or I had lyrics, but I had no chord progression or I had a cool melody in my head, but I had nothing else. And then there were other times where I would sit down and I wouldn't have, like I had nothing. None of the riffs I, I had written were, were speaking to me. Nothing. I had no ideas. I were speaking to me. So I would sit there and play like a chord. I would have a G chord. I would sit there and go, okay, Jesus, what, what am I gonna, what, what am I gonna do? No song idea, no melody idea, no nothing. And I would sit there and go, okay, so what's a way to attack this problem? And I would just go through the notes of the chord and figure out, okay, do I want to start it with that note or this note? I would just sit there and go, start it there, start it there, start it there. I mean, where do you, where do you want to start it? Because it, it's wide open. And and what I found was after trying that and really working on that, it it turned into where I would have nothing at the beginning of the day. And then I would have a song by the end of the day. Before that, there was, there was no lyrics. There, was no to there wasn't even a topic for the song. There was no melody. There was no chorus. There was, no ver there was nothing. And at the end of the day, you had this song. And over time, it became so I could sit down. And I'm not talking like, I'm not writing freaking Grammy award winning songs here. But it would be a situation where you would sit down and I'd be able to pump out a song. And it's kind of the same thing with writing. Because I'm writing so much and I'm writing a couple times a week, writing on all these different topics. I'm writing about health over here. I'm writing about parenting. I'm writing about sports. I'm writing about all these different things. But then you purposefully go out of your comfort zone. So I really want to, because the idea is what I want to do in the long run, is I want to be like a one-man media company. So like, let's say like a winery would hire just one management or just one media, whatever I'm going to call it. And I would go out and I'd be able to create all the content for the winery and then you build up from there and bring in people and blah 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 all that stuff but so i know one thing i really need to work on is i need to work on interviews i need to work on not only conducting interviews but i need to work on taking an interview and making it a story so what is what i did is i approached chase jarvis creative live photographer uh, entrepreneur i mean this guy's freaking a stud and I approached him and said, hey, are, are you cool with me creating a blog out of your 30 Days of Genius series? He said, no problem. So I started it. And I was sitting there yesterday doing the first episode with Mark Cuban, and I was stressed out. But, you know, and it came out okay. I think it was okay. You know, I asked a few different people to read it and, and critique it and stuff. But... I'm going to do 30 of these. So by the end of it, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to be much better at episode 30 than I am at episode one, but it's just pumping it out that you just have to go for it and go for it and go for it and go for it. And you'll figure out new strategies. And the idea is to get yourself to where your brain is straining. Um, if those of you guys that listen to James Altucher, he talks about um, becoming an idea machine and writing down 10 ideas a day every single day and then after months and months your brain just starts being able to process them faster and i completely believe in this approach two ideas are pretty easy three ideas are are, are a little harder and four but when you start getting to six seven eight nine when you have to start really just your brain is just really squeezing to figure it out that's where you come up with your with those big gains that's where you start like completely thinking outside the box that's where you're able to look at things from all these different angles and it doesn't just apply with we're not talking about art here we're talking about just life in general and dealing with problems it could be business it could be art it could be football those of you guys that are football fans look at bill belichick and the patriots don't talk about the flake gate. It's a bunch of crap, okay? But what team has changed what they do more often than the Patriots? 
That's because Bill Belichick has figured out ways to look at every situation from all different angles and attack from every angle. The, the, the more angles you have to attack in anything, the easier it'll be to conquer, the more likely it'll be to conquer. And that's the same thing with creativity. You have to put yourself in a situation where you're creating and you're coming, in, coming up with ideas outside your comfort zone. You're coming up with an idea when you have no idea. You're creating something from nothing. It's like you're creating something out of dust, out of thin air. And it's freaking super uncomfortable. But when you actually do it, it feels so good. So just do it. Nike? Sponsor? Sure, I'll take it. And the last thing, and I have to throw this in there. Just me being me, I got to throw this in there. The last thing you got to do in being creative and coming up with ideas and putting all these things together and, and, and doing something bigger and better is, of course, health. Of course, well, of course I'm gonna talk about health because when your body's not right, your mind's not right. If your body is constantly fighting inflammation and fighting, you know, being filled with sugar or alcohol or lack of sleep, it all affects your brain. Your brain is what's producing all this stuff that you are trying to create and it hangs you up. Are there extremely unhealthy people that are extremely creative and successful businessmen and successful businesswomen? Yeah, there are. But think about this, and this is the part where people kind of miss the point. What are they leaving on the table? What could they be? If they're amazing being unhealthy whatevers, what could they be if they weren't unhealthy whatevers? What are you leaving on the table? That's the important thing. That's what you got to look at. What are you leaving on the table? You want to be an idea machine, like James Althusser says? You want to be a creative juggernaut, somebody like Chase Jarvis? You want to be a successful entrepreneur, like Mark Cuban? You want to be a songwriter? You want to be a writer? What are you leaving on the table if you're not allowing your brain to function at its peak capacity? That's why it's important to do stuff like work out. It's important to be outside, to be healthy, eat healthy, put away the sugars, put away the breads, pray out the, the green veggies. It tastes like crap, but you know what really tastes like crap? Being a loser. And when you don't set yourself up for success, you are taking away your potential. And you don't want to take away your potential. You want to maximize your potential. You want to be the best version of you that you can be. So you put yourself in the best position to succeed. That's coming up with all the different angles for attack. That's eating healthy. That's sleeping. That's finding things that make you uncomfortable to help create those new neural pathways, to create those new ways to attack. That's what it's about. And that's what you have to think about. This is about, this is like a total life strategy. This is combining everything around your life and combining because everything in your life works together. You have the goals. You want to reach the goals. How do you do that? You think outside the box. You learn. You come up with strategies. You treat your body right. You treat your family right. You treat yourself right. Those are the types of things you do. That's how you become a, that's how you become more creative. You put yourself out there. You make yourself uncomfortable in practice. So when you're well practiced, when it's game time, when it's Sunday, it's on. And you do it better and better the more and more you do it. So I know this was a little different. I will be off next week. So I'll be blogging and doing all this stuff on this camera. So when I get back, I can put stuff out. So keep asking questions. Hit me up on Snapchat. I'm sure the house we're staying in has Wi-Fi and all that stuff. Um, if you are in the Grand Canyon or Tully Ride area, if you want to meet up, hit me up, and I, that would be pretty cool. That would be a very cool thing to do. Hope you guys have a good uh, next week and a great weekend. And keep asking questions and keep getting better and keep pushing yourself because that's what this is all about. I'll see you soon. Bye. And she was like, and she was like, and we was like.